What's up everyone, Mitchell Saltzman here, and as part of our preview coverage of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, I also got a chance to exclusively check out Super Future Trunks Episode Battle, which we're going to show here in its near entirety. A little context, this was my first time getting to play the game, so please forgive a little bit of scrubbiness at the beginning, I think I get better as it goes. Regardless though, hopefully this is a good show of what this mode is all about. Thanks for watching, and enjoy. Over here, boy. Let's get back to training. Hi. You haven't trained me since back when Cell was on the loose, remember? Of course not. You think I keep some kind of diary under my pillow? Oh, I haven't forgotten, Father. Here in the hyperbolic time chamber with you, I'll always remember that. that smile off your face stopping black is that your only goal you think it ends there think about the next threat in a year or five or ten or think about your pride if saiyan blood flows in your veins if you are my son as you claim then i won't tolerate you losing to anything <laughs> I hear you, and I will get stronger. Stronger than Black, and stronger than you. There's no need for impatience. It's your turn now. Let's finish them off nice and slowly. Trunks? You can leave Black to me. Use your head. He's too much for you. I can do it, you'll see. Even if I have to pay the ultimate price. Supposed to die. 
die of a heart that right? If he had died, as history originally recorded, time would not have been split. He would have never jumped, and I would not have had to take his body. But you warped history, ripped a hole in the fabric of time. You made this possible. All this work has been Goku! So, another lamb wishes to be slaughtered. Trunks, why did you... Father! Zamasu, I'll make you pay for this! You're facing me now! Lamb! Just like all my business, you're still completely oblivious. Interesting. What a shame you are for the sideshow. 
this time will you try that future? How will you compensate for your weakness now? Compared to gods, of course we're weak. But you can never make me ashamed of that. Because when mortals do join forces, that's when we can do anything. Because believing in our fellow man and helping each other to survive, that's what redeems us. That's what makes us who we are, makes us worthy. That's what gives us our real power! Not 
about gods and mortals. You don't believe in anything but yourself, and we won't let you win! You understand how it can be this strong? It feels chaotic. So many energies melded together! This is the power of mortals fighting for each other! The power of believing in something bigger than just you! But no! It can't be! Are you sure you can't stay a little longer, honey? Don't start getting sentimental. I'm just sad to see him go so soon. Besides, I imagine you might want to train with him some more, right? <clears throat> Mom, father, maybe she's right. If I were to train with father again, I could become stronger than I've ever been. Father, perhaps you could spar with me just one more time? What for? Because I have to be able to protect my world from any threat it could ever face. I need to. No matter what it takes? I'll endure any training you throw at me, no matter how brutal. Then you're gonna stay with us after all? Oh, Trunks, I'm so happy I could cry. As long as it's not an inconvenience. Of course not. No matter the timeline, this place is your home and you're always welcome here. Thanks, Mom. I promise, I'll become stronger and stronger. 